So I'm making a few videos here which are just going to be introducing articles that I have exploring specific topics. Things that I think the articles that I have will cover as well if not better than videos I can make on the same topic. This one is going to be linking over to two articles. One of them is I, I've made a conscious decision to smoke, and the other one is I think I've decided to go back to smoking. There are people who go back to smoking after having quit who will tell you that they really made a conscious decision to do it or they made a decision to do it. And in most cases, even though they're saying it, and even though at the time they're saying it, they might believe it, there's a really good chance that when they made the decision, it wasn't truly to go back to smoking. Not if you define smoking as going back to an active addiction that was going to control them for the rest of their life till it crippled and killed them. There's a pretty good chance that what they were thinking was they'd have a cigarette to, you know, to celebrate a moment, to enjoy a moment, just to smoke a few cigarettes a day, but not at their old level, or maybe to smoke a lot, but just for a short time period. But whatever it is, they're usually looking for a um, minimal amount compared to what it is going to turn into. And these two articles really hit home what the consequences of the decision. Because I want all people who are off smoking to really think long and hard before they ever throw away their quits. Because once they throw it away, there's no guarantee they're ever going to get it back. But these two articles will basically illustrate all the problems that go with that decision and put you in the position of, if you're going to consider taking a puff, to consider all the implications that go with it. Because I think there's a pretty good chance that if you do, if you really see smoking in its entirety, you're going to realize that your choice is still going to be to stick to the commitment that you likely made when you stopped, that for some reason you're questioning now, but if you look at the reasons for having initially quit and the, that the reasons are still very valid, the odds are you're going to decide that you want to stick to this commitment again to never take another puff.